um, take on the saturated fats in terms of their uh, either anti-inflammatory effect or their um, heart protective effect? I, I think it's it's all one thing for all of the systems. Uh, the, the saturated fats uh, tend to inhibit the stress hormones, uh, which produce a shift to uh, fat metabolism away from sugar metabolism by liberating fats from storage. Uh, once you get too much of the polyunsaturated fats in your body, uh, a little stress tends to become a big stress because that type of fat intensifies the stress hormones, uh, creating a vicious circle. The, the saturated fats uh, turn off the inflammation rather than amplifying it. And that applies. Uh, it was a Hindu who uh, about uh, 30 years ago, maybe 35, uh, noticed that alcoholics in the Indian regions that use a lot of butter uh, didn't get liver disease. And so he did the animal experiments and found that uh, butter or other saturated fats protect the liver. And uh, uh, there have been a lot of studies since then published in the U.S. showing that uh, even uh, large amounts of alcohol uh, don't hurt the liver if a person is getting saturated fats. But if they get any of the polyunsaturated fats, uh, their hepatitis flares up uh, mm -hmm. and cirrhosis. And the same with cancer. Um, if you look at the uh, ratio of saturated to uh, unsaturated fats in the body, uh, they call it the saturation index. Uh, that goes, uh, the more saturated your fats are, the less uh, susceptible you are to developing cancer. So uh, fibrotic, inflammatory, and uh, tumor diseases, as well as, as heart failure uh, and blood clotting diseases uh, are, are all uh, closely associated with the polyunsaturated fats and so protected against by the saturated ones.